Today what I'm going to be showing you is how to make a three-dimensional cathedral window block. Note that this cathedral window block, it's not a real cathedral window, it's a fake one, is actually a four patch with something sewn in the middle. And that something sewn in the middle becomes this edging and then you put the accent piece in the middle. So what you do is you start out with the four blocks that are going to be your edges, like these right here. These are three and a half inch squares. This is a six and a half inch square, and this is going to be the white that I'm going to sew in the middle. I'm going to fold this wrong sides together, like this, and I'm going to place it on the edge of one of the three and a half inch squares and I'm going to sew down this side and you'll notice that the the folded piece does not go all the way to the end that's because six and a half divided in half is three and a quarter so this is three and a quarter this piece here is three and a half so this is going to be a quarter inch shorter than the other part. That's going to eventually be your quarter inch seam allowance out here. So back to where we were. We're going to take this piece like this and we're going to sew down that side. Then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. We're going to put it on top of the three and a half inch square and sew down the other side. Let me get one that I've done already. Here's one that I've done already. You can see where I've sewed it, like that. I've kind of made this H-like thing. And I've made sure to keep that extra quarter of an inch on the folded side. If you don't put it on the folded side, this whole thing isn't going to work. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and I'm going to pull the four patch back together like this and I'm going to sew, let me show you the four patch if you can see it, you can see the four patch there. I'm going to sew this seam, I'm going to sew all the way across like that and when I'm done I'll have a square and a square block. Here's one that's sewed already so you can see what it looks like. Now to get this to look like that all I have to do is take my accent piece, which I have fussy cut so that I can get the flowers in the middle. I put it in the middle of this and I roll this over and pin it down. Now, I, am hand, I hand stitched this so that I could have a little bit of, of looseness so that I could keep the three dimensional effect. You don't have to if you'd like to machine sew this down, that would work just as well. Here's one that I have pinned all the way around the outside. When you get to these corners, you just kind of lay one corner over the other and it works out just fine. Now here I have fussy cut a three and a half inch square to be in the middle. But what would happen if you'd like to do, say, a photograph in the middle and your photograph is four inches? If this is four inches, then this one, this one, this one, and this one has to be four inches. But how big is your middle white piece? Well, remember when I showed you the H, it had to be a quarter inch shorter than that. So, if this one's four inches, this one would have to be three and a quarter when you fold it in half, or seven and a half when you open it up. An easier way to remember that might be to add four plus four, and take away the seam allowance, and that makes the seven and a half. Enjoy!